Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add an SVG file using the fantastic Divi Supreme plugin. SVG files are great. Um, they're vector graphics so they're actually made up of mathematical equations which means you can make them bigger or smaller and they scale up and down perfectly. If I just enable the visual builder here. If I go in and make my row bigger now, you'll see that this scales up inside with absolutely no loss of quality whatsoever, which is the great thing about SVGs. And we've covered this before just with a Divi theme uh, using a code editor to add them. With Divi Supreme modules, you can add them directly. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's just get rid of this one. And start from scratch. I've got a section with a simple column in it and I'll put this link down below it's free svg.org I used that one just now. Now to the make to make this happen today if we go down to our dashboard once you've got Divi Supreme installed you'll find it here we need to click on there and we need to go to our miscellaneous tab It'll open usually in the general settings tab, but we need to go to the miscellaneous. Make sure you've got allow SVG file upload enabled here. Switch to purple and save your changes. If you forget this step, this won't work today. Okay, so let's get it done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Let's perhaps use this one this time. Here it is. I'm going to hit the download SVG. I'm using Google Chrome, so mine's going to download directly to my browser window here. You may be using something else. It'll download to your default location, usually in Documents and Downloads. So we've got that one right there. Now let's go to our Media Library, and that's Dashboard, Media. And you can either hit Add New, or you can just drag and drop it up here. Here it is, right here. I'm going to take it and drop it. And there it is right there. It doesn't show you the picture, but it does tell you the name. And it is in your media library. So remember, we must have this switched on for this to work. Allow SVG files upload miscellaneous under Divi Supreme Pro. So now it's in our library. We can treat it like any other image. So if we go back to our page, Here's our section with a row with one column. I'm simply going to go in. I'm going to add an image, just a regular Divi image module. And I can click on it and select my new SVG, where it is triangle logo right there. Of course, you can put in alt text like any other image and a caption if you need to. Go ahead and upload my image. And there it is. And like I say, if you wanted to, you could use this for a logo as well, because now it's in your media library. In fact, let's do that. And just to note, if we make this smaller again, it'll go down beautifully, scale down beautifully, scale vector graphic, which is fantastic. So let's see if we can't use it for a logo. And to do that, we need to go to our dashboard. We'll go down to Divi, as we're using the Divi theme here. And on the General tab, here's our logo. So let's go to our Media Library and get the actual URL. I just clicked on the file. It opens this window here. And here's the file URL right here. I'm going to copy that. Let's go back to our Theme Options. And we'll reset it. And I'll just paste that in there. Control V to paste or however you like to do it. Let's save our changes. And let's just visit the site. And there we go. We now got an SVG as a logo. So after our last video, we had a few questions asking how to do this. Yes, you do need an extra plugin, Divi Supreme Modules, which is absolutely awesome. But if you want to get it done easily and quickly, that's the way to do it. 
So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.